Welcome to Community Baptist Church Daily Devotional. I have a story that happened in 1859. In fact, it was in June of 1859. A man did something, his name was Charles Blondin, that had never been done before. He took a rope and he stretched it from the United States side all the way over to the Canadian side across Niagara Falls. How long was this? It was almost four football fields long. Incredible feat. Nobody had ever done this. 25,000 people were in attendance. Can you imagine their excitement? Can you imagine the fear that they were also feeling inside? Charles steps on that tightrope and he begins to walk across four football fields. He gets all the way to the other side and he screams, I'm going to do it again. And the crowd roars in excitement. He walks all the way back across. He takes a wheelbarrow and he fills it full of rocks and he pushes that wheelbarrow four football fields across that tightrope. He gets to the other side and says, I'm going to do it again. He pushes the wheelbarrow back. He gets to the United States side and the crowd is cheering and hugging one another and jumping up and down. And he says, how many of you believe that I can put a man in this wheelbarrow and push him across? and most everybody raised their hand in the crowd. He focused on one man in, uh, specifically because he raised his hand and he said, sir, I would like for you to get in my wheelbarrow. And the crowd went silent. And the man said, absolutely not. Trust. I would say it's a, almost a sacred word. What makes you trust somebody? What makes you Take your kids to somebody's house to spend a night, if it's a sleepover, a pajama party, or because you're going on a date night with your wife or husband. What makes you drop some, your, something so precious, such as your kids, and leave them with somebody else? I bet you've done your background check. I bet you know who these people are. In fact, some of you, if you're like us, have specific rules where, you know what, it's pretty much just going to be family. Or they're going to have to be really somebody we trust. What makes you trust somebody? I believe trust is earned and lost based upon past experience. Wouldn't you agree? Trust is earned and lost based upon past experience. There was a man in the Bible whose story I really can't wrap my hands around. I don't quite understand everything because I, I don't know if there was some dialogue missing that was not wrote down. But his man, a man named by Noah, he built an ark because God told him to. God began to use words like in Genesis six seventeen, I am going to flood the earth. Did God stop and say, hey, let me describe what rain is? Because at this point, there had not been any rain. Let me describe what a flood is. If you hear a word for the first time and you don't know what the definition, you ask, what is that? What does that look like? There had never been anything like this up to this point or since then. Now, what made Noah trust God like he did? You actually have to go back to Genesis chapter 6, verse 9, and it says this, that Noah walked with God. It means to die with him, to live with him, to move with him, to come alongside of him. That's the definition of walking with God. You see, Noah's walk did not start the day before, the week before, or the year before. Noah's trust in God started many years before, and it continued to grow. And here's the amazing thing. Just like Charles Blondin screamed out, let I'm going to do it again. Every time Noah trusted God and God is trustworthy and he is faithful, you know what Noah said in his heart? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. And every time he found God to be trustworthy, he says, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to trust him again because my past experiences have found that God is trustworthy. And when it comes to to Noah building an ark for 120 years, just him and his family and all the ridicule that he faced, 
You know what Noah was basing this off of? I'm going to do it again because of all of his past experiences with God. See, the same way Noah trusted God, you and I have to trust God. You have to walk with him. Die, to die with him, to live with him, to come alongside, and to move with him. You see, the ark was Noah's salvation, and it was the world's salvation. The ark is a type of Jesus Christ in the Bible. Salvation is available for the entire world if you'll just put your trust in his redemptive work on the cross. Come on, let's do it again.